Hey guys, this is a video on the basics on Sony Vegas and just how to use it. And here I'm just going to open it up. Just wait a bit. For it to finish loading. Okay, here we go. So here it starts up with a project, with the most recent project you already saved. If you click default icon. So here it is. And here you can pretty much edit. Here, if you press this button right here, you can pretty much just zoom. And you can zoom in, then make it zoom out like this. Make a keyframe from zooming in. Go to the end or the middle and just zoom out. Make another keyframe and during time it'll start to zoom, zoom in. And here is to lower the volume of the music. You can also go here to just to lower the overall volume of everything. But if you want to lower the volume of a selected clip, just um, yeah, it's over here. And here you can change the opacity. And what opacity is, just transparency. So you can put this clip on top of here. And then make this a little transparent. You can see both of them. Like at around 50-50, you can see both. And yeah. Just also cross this off. Which you can do. Here, let me lower the volume of the music or the voice and here it changes from one clip to another and here there's also transitions if you go to the transitions tab and yeah here's they are just get one and then um wait here Wait, let me just lower the volume of this. Here. Delete. Okay, here you can add a, an effect or a transition, I mean, is what I mean. And here they are. You want to put this in your video. Just put these together. And just add this effect. Drag it to over here. And here you can uh, mess with it a little more. You know, change it up. And here it is. For some good transitions. And there's also a video effect. Like any other video editing program. And here they are. If you want to use this effect, just put add. If you want to use black and white, just go over here. Put black and white. And here, it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. You can animate it too. If you want to make something... Hmm, just... However... Just go to your clip. There we go. And here you can edit it. Change it up. And then if you want to make it animate, like change the effect changing over time, then here you can make another keyframe over here and change it a little. And I'm, it automatically makes another keyframe, so you won't have to press over here. But if it doesn't, just press over here. So here you can make it from not being black and white. To over here. Oh wait, I forgot. You have to press animate to be able to animate the the movie. So here it's not black and white. Make another keyframe over here, making it black and white. And there, it should be animating to black and white. Let's look at it with only black and white. With only black and white effect on. 
and here. And yeah, that should work. Now, um, there's also many other effects which you can just mess with, which is the easiest way to learn how to use it. And yeah, over time you just learn how to use it. There's also a masking feature. Like if you want to select a, like just one feature specifically, like, um, here we go. You can change it to anchor. Make sure this mask is on. And here you can just um, zoom in a little. If you only want to show this, then just mask it by selecting this and just selecting it, going around it. And let me just finish masking this. And here it is. It's only showing this. Except I just made a pretty bad mask. Because I just did it really fast. To so unselect the one of these, just press this to delete it. And yeah. You can also add text. If you right click on a video clip, it has to be a video clip. A video track and then click insert track text media and here you can type anything random like um, Z destroyers videos and you can change the font here here, uh, here. you can change where you want it the color font and the background if it doesn't have one already here you can draw an outline or you uh, if you want and you can change it up wait let me put it so you can see how it's changing uh, here we go you can place it or anywhere you want uh, make a shadow if you want. So if you want, as a little bit of shadow. Though you can't tell if the background's black. So yeah, deform it a little if you want. Make it a little slanted. Uh, you can also see add effects to it. Anything you can do with a record clip. Add a transition if you want. Oh yeah, this is to fade in and this to fade in or fade out. There's this little like blue arrow thing over here in the corners of the clip. Just go over here and it fades in. Wait, there we go. You can also add transition. Instead, instead of just fading in or fading out. So here, you could just add this. And just, you can mess with this if you want. Just something random. And here it is. Hmm. What else am I missing? Here you can preview the effects. To see how they look like, kind of, just before you use them. And here's some things it comes with, with just Sony Vegas Pro 10. And solid colors, noise textures, checkboards, some sample, sample texts, you know. Just the basics. Let's see. Here they are. And uh, if you want to mess with 3D, um, here we go. First, select the track you want to make 3D. You can change this from Source Alpha to 3D Source Alpha. And you can make the whole thing 3D. Like, well, this is the, like the track. All the tracks, so. 
I'll explain more later. Like here, you can change it up and then rotate it. Do anything you can. Here we go. Let me move this so you can see it. Change this. Rotate a little more. Here's some like the left, the front, the top. You want to mess with something specifically. Here you can animate it if you want to make it more here moving and yeah that's about it Let's see if I'm missing something um, and here's just moving to the original spot the because I made it animate so yeah Let's see is that it yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching this video and please subscribe for more